Hey guys, here I am again, Barry with Barry's A Track and Classic Car Radio up here. And this is a continuation of yesterday's video where I was testing uh, just the A Track section on this. Uh, on this uh, RCA Ford lookalike radio. Uh, it's out of a 72 Mustang. Probably not the original radio because it's not a Ford. It's an RCA Ford copy. Uh, this comes from Bob in Studio City, California. And we're here to make sure everything works before we send her back. So I've got it set to the one strong AM station I get in my area. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Cottonwood has what you're looking for. Jacked up off. Uh, right, so while we got it on talk radio, we're going to demonstrate drive. our balance and faders. Balance left, right, left, right. Okay, center. You can find it at courtesy of Alrighty, front rear fader. Now, one thing I'll say is I never reuse the original front rear fader because they have a limited lifespan, so the tone control is actually fair. Oh, another thing, too, is I mentioned yesterday that this unit has a really cheap control. I did go ahead and replace it with a better control uh, so that the, so that there's a separate volume and tone control. Uh, I thought we were going to have to pull out the volume control to temporarily turn into a tone control, but I found a, I found a control that will work, uh, and so let's go ahead and... Rubber and fills in no time. Our, our virtual, the... virtual front rear fader. We're going to start with our tone control in about the center position, and we're going to give it two turns to the right Putting to activate the function. So here we go. Fader adjust. Okay. So now the same control is adjusting our our front rear speaker balance all the way rear, all the way front, rear. Okay, I'm going to center them. And remember, the garage door is the. Fader, Fader set. set. Okay, Don't let's wait. make sure the Bluetooth goes into pairing mode. Bluetooth ready to pair. Okay, so we know the Bluetooth is working. Alrighty, let's go ahead and switch it over to FM, and I have all five presets set to a FM stations in my area for a quick test. So go over to FM. Okay, we don't need this stuff anymore. Hey, I do want to say thanks. Three classics on. That one drifted a bit. Results without the elimination. Okay, let's try the A track. Now you're gonna want to turn it down a little bit before you put it in A track because I got the output of the A track pretty hot. But it's nice and bright. Okay, at the end of a song there, crank it up. No cross talk between songs. Ready, hit the eject button and the tape comes out and the radio comes back so let's make sure the dial light comes on and off and you can yeah you can see that green glow as I press and release the button so we're all good uh, everything's ready everything's working and he's ready to go back and I'm ready to get on to probably my shower and supper time uh, I'm Barry with Barry's a track and classic car radio up here and to reach me for service please visit the website in the description below and uh, before calling me with a bunch of questions please download and print a work order off that website because the work order has all my options and prices including options for turn times uh, and you're gonna have to fill one out anyway if you if you're sending your radio in you have to fill out a work order anyway so go ahead and make the f go ahead and make that the first step towards finding out my prices and all that because uh, that saves me 15 minutes on the phone with each new customer and it uh, it basically just keeps my workmanship at top-notch quality because I'm not constantly interrupted with with the uh, with uh, with long phone calls so uh, thanks so much for watching and listening uh, thank you Bob for your business from Studio City California and we'll see you guys next time <laughs>